Hi, my name is Lucas Carey, and my bioexpo project was hydrocarbon degrading bacteria, a local case study in Pine Lake. So the purpose of this experiment was to grow and identify cultures of bacteria in the freshwater environment of Pine Lake in Sammamish, Washington. The questions that are entailed in this experiment are, are there species indigenous to Pine Lake that are capable of breaking down hydrocarbons, and can we identify individual species? The inspiration for this project came from the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. On March 20th, 2010, the Deepwater Horizon oil rig suffered a terrible explosion and one of its underground oil wells sprung a leak and spilled 4.9 million barrels of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. Over 60,000 square miles of fishing ground were closed. However, in a study by T.C. Hazen and his team, a bacterial population began to rise within the oil plume and oil levels began to climb at a drastically lowered rate than they were at the beginning of the leak. This is Pine Lake where I gathered my freshwater sample. It's an 88 acre lake with a total watershed area of 469 acres. That watershed extends out to the surrounding residential neighborhoods and the lakeside properties. Over in this direction, the main road of Sammamish, 228th Avenue, runs by, which is a major source of hydrocarbon pollution. Every year for fishing season, Pine Lake is stocked with rainbow trout and bass. And although boats are allowed to load from the ramp, there are no gas engines allowed. However, this rule is not strictly enforced and sometimes it can lead to hydrocarbon pollution. My, for my experiment, I chose Ace Hardware Motor Oil as my hydrocarbon. This mixture makes it so that a very diverse population of bacteria may grow inside the motor oil. However, I chose this because it's a realistic example of suburban pollution. The first step in my project was a serial dilution. One liter of water was collected from Pine Lake to serve as the inoculum, or containing the initial bacterial population. Uh, this was mixed into a Gunkel minimal spulse growth medium developed by Dr. Gunkel. The first cycle of the serial dilution included 100 milliliters of growth media and six drops of motor oil. As you can see, after two weeks of growth, there was considerable growth at the surface where the motor oil rested, and it, it reached optical mass, which is the mass of bacteria it takes to be visible to the naked eye, after only two to three days. The second cycle of my, seri of my serial dilution was separated into two groups. Series A was performed as a 1% dilution, which means that one milliliter, or 1% of the previous cycle, was transferred into a new tube containing nine milliliters of media, or 10 milliliters total. Then six drops of motor oil was again added, and as you can see, there is still considerable bacterial growth. I wanted to experiment with different types of uh, serial dilution, so instead, so I, the second group consisted of a simple biofilm spool. As you can see, there isn't a lot of difference between the two growth uh, methods at this point. For the third cycle, again 1% was diluted into the next cycle, which in this case was only 100 microliters since the last um, cycle only contained 10 milliliters. This was transferred into 9,900 microliters of new media and again 6 drops of motor oil. The growth patterns are similar to the last cycle as you can see in the pictures after two weeks of growth. The next cycle Oh, the next series in the cycle was again a simple biofilm spool. As you can see, especially in the bottom three pictures, the growth is significantly larger than in the 1% dilution. The second stage of my experiment was a bacterial lawn. This was in a strategy to produce individual colonies of bacteria that we can separate into species. The tubes 3A, 4A, 6A, and 5 through 8B were selected as they had the highest growth. The third stage of my project was a street plate. This means that individual colonies from the bacterial lawn were selected with a back loop and uh, streaked in quarters onto these plates. The purpose of this street plating is to uh, grow large amounts of bacteria that we know to be of one single species so that we can use that for multiple tests in DNA sequencing and uh, microbiological tests.
the fourth step in my project was a grant stain. Only 4A1, 3A3, and 5A3 were selected because all the other plates had been overgrown as a result of growing for too long in the incubator. 4A1 and 3A3 were shown to be gram-negative bacillus bacteria, or rods, and 5B3 was shown to be a gram-positive caucus bacteria. We would have liked to have run more tests, however, due to um, financial and time constraints, we weren't able to order any more supplies. So the conclusions we can draw from this experiment was that there are several bacteria species in Pine Lake that are capable of breaking down hydrocarbons. However, we were not able to determine the identity of any of these because the, there are too many genuses of gram-negative bacillus and gram-positive caucus to produce a definite answer. While I didn't learn the identity of the bacteria, I did learn that there are methods of growing, isolating, and identifying bacteria, such as cereal dilutions, agroplate culturing, and uh, using lawns and streaking for isolates. In, uh, microbiological tests were gram stains, motility tests, among others. And if we'd had more time, I would have liked to use the 16S RNA strand to uh, determine the identity of the bacteria, as more than half of the genetic differentials in bacteria occur either in the 16S RNA or the 23S RNA. I also learned how to effectively research my topic and read scientific papers. If I were to take this experiment further, I would do uh, a polymerase chain reaction to, to amplify the DNA of each three plate so that I could uh, effectively sequence the DNA with a substantial amount. After, that, after I had the uh, DNA from PCR, I would use Advanced Reposomal DNA Restriction Analysis, or ARDRA, developed by Mario Vanishu to identify individual groups of, of base pairs in the 16S RNA. If I were to have an ideal situation, I would fully sequence the 16S RNA sequence because that would give me the definite identity of the bacteria that I was uh, experimenting with. An experiment I could do in the future is uh, do another serial dilution with controlled amount of oil and use UV spectrophotometry to find uh, trends in bacterial growth and also in the decomposition of motor oil. The people I'd like to thank are my mentor, Yarek Rivers. His expertise was uh, instrumental in finding uh, new ways to grow bacteria and to overcome obstacles that would inevitably arise. In addition, my biotech teacher, Mrs. Martinez, allowed me to use her classroom and spent lots of time after work uh, helping me in the lab. Also, I'd like to thank Michelle Michelson for filming on location at Pine Lake on a moment's notice, even though her mom said she wasn't allowed to. And for everyone who organizes and uh, makes BioExpo possible.